Valens Research, Uniform Financial Analytics. And Grubhub is really interesting because this is a company where when you look at the Azure reported ROA, I mean, the Azure reported PE for Grubhub, what you see is a company that has a 190 times PE, right? The Azure reported PE for Grubhub looks so high, you can't possibly explain it. And part of the reason why is because Grubhub's Azure reported ROA is only 3%. In reality, Grubhub's ROA is actually at 50%. Right. What's really cool with this is when you look at the Azure Porter ROA and the Azure Porter PE for Grubhub, you couldn't make heads for tails. Right. It is so high in terms of where valuations are and, um, and returns are so low that you look at it and you go, there's no way that this could ever be justified. You can't ever justify a 200 times PE. But when you look at a 44 times PE and you see a company that is growing at 40 percent a year in terms of asset growth, that has ROAs that even this year are forecast to be 33 percent. All of a sudden, you can start to understand what the market's paying for, and you can start to explain, is it possibly justified for Grubhub to have PEs that high? And we see that Grubhub last year grew earnings from $1.80 to $2.30. Didn't see ROAs fall, by the way, but from one a buck ten and ninety cents, like Azure Porter Metrics reflect. You can say, well, if they're growing earnings by that rate and they have returns that high, maybe that PE makes sense. Right. And so we can see is also we can look and we can see the white bars for Grubhub. Look at how low they are. The market's basically pricing an ROA to fall to seven to eight percent a year going forward from prior 40 to 50 percent levels that we can just start to understand in a way that we couldn't, especially with a 40 times PE and 190 times PE understand previously. Valens Research. The world's leading source for uniform financial analytics.